Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with Jay. Of course, I am Jay, and today we're going to watch Step Brothers. This is a movie I've never seen because I just couldn't fathom the thought of two grown men acting like little kids throughout the entirety of the whole movie. As mentioned in my Elf reaction, I don't dislike Will Ferrell. I actually think he's pretty funny, and John C. Riley is a pretty good actor as well. And so now it's time to check out Step Brothers. I'll be home around 11. Hi, Mom. Hi, Brennan. Those hips up right here. Great. I'm leaving for the conference. You leave me money for pizza, Dad? Yeah, there's $20 on the hall table. Do not order pay-per-view, buddy. But what if I want wings? You don't need wings. That's not enough, Dad! The RTI cochlear implant is the state of the art due to its input processing of sound which processor. But the most exciting new development, which eliminates the need to... Put your face between those breasts. What? My name is Robert, and I play racquetball. I collect coins. Wait, so they're just meeting. Okay. That's probably how they become stepbrothers. I have a 40-year-old son, Dale, who still lives at home. What did you just say? Oh. I have a 39-year-old son named Brennan who still lives at home with me. So this is how it happens. Okay. All right. Being here with us is a wonderful day. Oh. Get a room, Dad. They're about to get a room, aren't they? He was recently let go from his job at PetSmart, so he is going to be living with us. Damn, why would she put him on blast? This wedding is horseshit. I'm not going to call him dad. Robert better not get in my face. I'm just saying. So is that Robert, yeah, think about the son, options. or the dad? We'll find out, right? No. No, I okay. Think... It's time for a change for both of us. Dad, we're men. That means a few things. We like to shit with the door open. We make our own beef jerky. We literally have never done any of those things. Oh, jeez. He went to Northwestern and Johns Hopkins. Is that good enough for you? No, it's not. Well, Brennan, those are very prestigious schools. Hold on. This is the second movie I've watched in a row because I just watched Mean Girls. It's mentioned Northwestern. I actually worked for Northwestern for like a year as a contractor. But I guess it's pretty prestigious. She takes one look at me and she goes, I've had the old bull, now I want the young calf. Shut the fuck up! Nobody wants to hear that shit. That's funny. On Brennan. I'm fine here. There you are. Hi. Oh, you look so cute in your moving clothes. So, so far, Colin Farrell seems like the immature little kid and John C. Riley's hey, character Robert, looks just like the... Hey, Don. The adult, but not Don? quite there. Can I come over this afternoon and touch your face? Sure. What? Thanks. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Jeez, cinnamon. Cinnamon is not feeling that. Hi, Dale. Can you make me a grilled cheese sandwich? Here we go. The meetup. I'm Brennan. I'm Dale. You have to call me Dragon. Brennan and Dale. You have to call me Nighthawk. Dragon and Nighthawk. Let's go. What an incredibly awkward dinner table. What have you been working on recently, Dale? I manage a baseball team, fantasy league. You play fantasy sports? Tell me in the comments. I used to be obsessed with fantasy football. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Why don't so, Brennan, how about you? I know you used to work at PetSmart. That's right, Mr. Doback. Okay, call me Robert. That's right, Robin. Robert. Robert. He's a very gifted singer. I'm really, really good. How good? I've been called the songbird of my generation. So the obvious question is, they just linked up and got married. How much time has passed? And how do you not introduce your adult grown kids? I mean, that's just, that takes away everything on this movie. So I'll keep watching it, but I'm just, I just have to ask that question. That good. The, the only it's funny that you say that because I can sing too. In fact, I'll sing right now. If you want to get down on these hairy balls, hey. why don't you jump right in? Hey. That's cute. I remember when I had my first beer. Uh, <laughs> Great he Dale. said a mean thing first. All right, I'll get, just... Want to show him the room, Dale? Show him where he can put his stuff? Good night, Mr. Doback. Uh, good night, Brennan. There is it a weird awkward... I even have that with my adult son. It's like, are we shaking hands? Are we dapping each other up? Are we giving each other hugs? It's always so, weird. Shouldn't be. It just is. Just 
there's any food it's kind of funny you like i suggest you put your name on them or they will be thrown out you see this room yeah this is my office and my beat laboratory and this is the one rule of the house don't ever 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 touch my drum set don't touch it all right there's gonna be a drum set incident there has to be Why is it that Dale never left? Dale has always coasted off my accomplishments. I mean, I don't know where he got this sense of entitlement. What about Brennan? And from what you've told me, his younger brother Derek's been quite successful. This one time when Brennan was 17 and Derek was 14, and Brennan decided to enter a talent show. He sang a song from an old pirate musical. Derek got his football buddies to replace the choir and sing Brennan has a mangina. Brennan has a mangina. And I have to admit, for a little while, I sort of joined in as well. Damn, mom says she joined in. Derek went on to win the contest by lip syncing Ice Ice Baby. I was in ninth grade when Ice Ice Baby was on the, the charts. I just want you to know I hate you. I hate you too. And this house sucks ass. Only reason you're living here is because me and my dad decided that your mom was really hot. Me and my She's dad. Both banger. We'll put up with the retard in the meantime. Who's the retard? You. Shut up. You better not go to sleep. As soon as your eyes shut, I'm gonna punch you square in the face. I hope you stay still when you sleep, because I'm putting a rat trap between your legs. This is my house now. How do you like the Gilded Lady? I wish we could retire right now. It'd be long. Nice boat. Do any of you guys own a sailboat? Oh. I always wondered how hard it would be to get back on a boat if you fell off like that. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. It's drum time. Let's go. I wonder if Dale can even play the drums. Hey. Hey. Why are you so sweaty? Some of those wristbands. I saw them before. I'm just. Have your feet on the couch. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Oh, let's see. Is it all beat up? Hey man, did you touch my drum set? Nope. Hey, did you touch my drum set? Hey, knock it off! You swear in your mom's life that you didn't touch it then? I don't have to swear to shit. Where are you going? I'm going upstairs. Cause I'm gonna put my nuts hat on your drum set. Ian, go, go. Hey, don't miss the spot. What the hell? John Bob's God. I swear to God. And they're screwing that house up. Oh no, not the wall. Oh, everything. Oh, neighbor's dog wants to get some of this. Dr. Doback, the, the phone's for you. I think oh. it's urgent. There seems to be some savage fight going on between my son and stepson, so I. I and they got all the neighbors out there. If this was a current film. Everyone would be out there with their phones recording it. Double KO. The guy's out there with his coffee cup and stuff. Snap. Uh, I still hate you. I still hate you. Power, it's raw power. Dad, what are you doing? It's Shark Week. Number one, he will fix the fucking drywall now. Hope they know how to fix the drywall. Mom, I honestly thought I was going to be raped for it. He had the craziest look in his eyes. And at one point he said, let's get it on. No television for a week. What? You going to sneak in there and steal the remote? No, oh, guess not. Oh, is he a sleepwalker, this guy? Yeah. Are they both sleepwalkers? He's a sleep runner, I guess. Oh, no. Like a couple of varmint. 
They're not the Oreos. Those are good. Lots more with oh, boy. Oh, my God. No. What Where are they coming in from where they're just now seeing this? Maybe Dale left the back door open and raccoons oh got in. Oh, my God. Uh, Nancy? I said varmint. It's Brennan. He sleepwalks and he always puts my purse in the freezer. Dale sleepwalks, too. Look in the oven. What's in there? Couch pillows. At least he didn't turn the oven on, right? They're going to get jobs or be gone in a month. Yo, that <laughs> stovetop, that range with the red knobs, those are expensive. I guess he's a doctor, so it doesn't nice. matter. The clown has no penis. What is on his face? Hey, it's 1230. Brennan, Mustard? your brother's coming today, so you might want to get up. Your brother's even a bigger asshole than you are. A one, a two. Oh, that's what's her face from, uh... WandaVision. I know him. He's in a, a, quite a few movies. This $1,200 a week for voice lessons, and this is what I get? Better watch where you're going, homie. My God, that's impressive. Yeah, we were down in the southern part of the Gulf <laughs> fishing bonita. Are bonita fish big? Uh, what? Dale, don't interrupt the man when he's telling a story. No, 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 no. it's fine, Robert. Um, I was asking about the story. What's this guy's deal? Well, Dale, they are what's called. <laughs> Just ask the simple question, man. So, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God, I'm sorry. Now I forget where my story was going. Ah, damn it, Dale. Well, I asked him twice not to, not to interrupt. Listen, gang, don't be mad at Dale for ruining the story and possibly the evening. It's, it's totally fine. I have a lot more stories. Oh, God, you're impressive. <laughs> uh, come on. Yeah, I love talking to you. Uh oh, there's some jealousy going on right now. Room, I feel like we have a thing. As there should be, because... You're my new stepdad. You're unbelievable. Yeah, right. why are you acting so weird? Oh, hey, by the way, guys, where's my bro Brennan? Brennan's like, F that. I hate this dude. You're right about your brother. Total dick. I still hate you, but you got a pretty awesome collection of nudie mags. Anyway, so I figured by the summer 2010, we yeah. can probably set sail. But uh, I think hmm. about it every day. Summer 2010? How old is this movie? I got to look that up. I usually know. Well, I got to make more money. But what if I were to tell you that... Old enough for not everybody to have iPhones and... Above market right now. Pixels and... That'd be great. Yeah. Samsungs. In a heartbeat, Robbie. Fantastic. Yeah. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. Oh. He's like, this is a son I never had. Brandon, but they haven't even gotten jobs yet. Got to change the record. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that in front of my son. I'm just saying give it some thought, okay? So he's a typical dad who wants his kid to man up and grow up, and she's the typical mom who's incredibly overprotective of her firstborn. You're crinkling. No, it's a collector's item. It's worth a lot of money. What's up, faggots? You're not going to come down and say hi to me? What's up with that, dipshit? Hi, Derek. Oh, calm down, man. I'm just joking. What is your problem, man? Actually, I have the opposite of a problem. I made over 550k last year. Mm. How much did you make? Not about money. No, it's not about money. For me, it's a little bit about money, and I made that much money last year. Check these out. See these? See these boys? This is what I Wish live my with. stomach looked like Every that. Day, I lather this up with keels in the shower. Something you want? Look, I promised Mom I'd offer you a job. No, I'm never gonna work for you. Fine, I don't care. You both look like you might want to hit me in the face. You do. I can. They probably want to kick him right now. Why don't you punch me in the face? Punch down the uh, the steps. Oop. Close enough. Hey Derek, you know what's yelling, Mom? If you lick my butthole. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Bobby. Sure. It's our pleasure, son. Why are you calling him that? Hi. I'm Alan. Thank you for punching my husband. Uh, is it true that you struck Derek in the face and he, and he fell from the treehouse? Yeah, he, he asked me to. Oh, that's the most amazing thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Here you go. Tonight, I am going to pleasure myself to the image of you doing that to Derek. You are something. <laughs> you are something. I'm going to roll you into a little ball and shove you up my vagina. And walk around with you in there and just know you're... Whenever I feel a little tickle or scratch that it's just your hair huh. on my vagina. I hate my life, Dale. Obviously, she hates her life. I hate my life. I don't know what it is about, Dale. Honey, come on. Dane Cook, pay-per-view, 20 minutes. Let's go. Whatever happened to, to uh, Dane Cook? Did he get canceled? I love you. Okay. Wowzers. I can't believe you hit Derek. I know that we started out as foe. They're besties now, man. Maybe someday we could become friends. 
friends who ride majestic and translucent steeds. It's quite I descriptive there, the homie. of Avalon. Do you want to see something super cool that only three people have ever seen in their lifetime? Okay, open your eyes. Whoa. Pretty recognizable signature. Randy Jackson from American Idol. Now, do you want to see something really cool? Of course. Turn off the lights. Industrial strength night vision goggles. I Holy want those. Santa Claus shit. I have a buddy who was supposed to hook me up with them and never did. They're not that noticeable on your face. Yeah. Ow, yeah. Yeah, it's going to burn your eyes doing that. Two weeks. On the count of three, name your favorite dinosaur. One, two, three. Stegosaurus. Who's the one guy you would sleep with? John, John Samos. Samos. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup. Do you want to go do karate in the garage? Yup. Good old Hall of Notes. Yeah. I got that on my iPhone right now. I think they're starting to like each other. Sword fight! I know! Sword fight! Can we turn our beds into bunk beds? Yes. We've already figured out how to do this. The beds match up perfectly. You don't need permission from us to build bunk beds. You're adults. You can do what you want. So... That's true. I never thought about that. Now, you both have several interviews tomorrow. I would think you'd be focused on that and not building bunk beds. So... <laughs> this is the funnest night ever! <laughs> Over there. Oh, really? wow. Where do you get a giant pencil? Dale, no power tools. Oh, what? We did it. We did it. This is how we do it. Hey, I never asked you. Yeah. You like guacamole? Oh. oh. Jesus. I was wondering how long that bed was going to hold up, but I didn't know. It was... Yeah, I didn't. Dad, Nancy, <laughs> bad. The bunk beds were a terrible idea. Why did you let us do that? You got a big day tomorrow. You need your eight hours. I keep trying to look at the cars on the shelf, to be honest with you guys. I'm a big car guy. Your day, though, guys. Remember that. You own it. This is your right. I don't even remember those Pepsi cans. Mr. Huff, Mr. Giner is ready for your interview. Actually, we'll be interviewing as a team. <laughs> well, Brennan, you certainly have had a lot of jobs. Well, Pan. No, my name is Pan. Yeah, I'm sorry, who is this gentleman sitting behind you? Hello, Ms. Lady. What do you say we interview you? Oprah, Barbara Walters, your wife. I think we're done here. Thank you. Okay, first of all, I needed someone Wait, to show your mouth. Sh show your mouth. I'm guessing they're not going to get a job today. Get out of my office! I'm with for like 12 hours a day. I didn't know Seth Rogen like was in here. Guys? I do like his, his humor and just about most just about most of his movies. Every, yeah. Unless you're like the weirdest I like Seth Rogen movies. See it. Was that a fart? I don't know. I don't know. I can taste it. That was like a morning fart. On my tongue. That onion, onion and onion and ketchup. Ah, oh, gross. Thanks. God, you're so close. Don't worry about my dad. Got him sewn up. We've got to start thinking bigger, though, Brennan. Listen, what are you really good at? I'm a, I'm a world class singer. I can shred on the drums. Mm. Marketing whiz and put all that together. What do you get? We are gonna start an international entertainment company and we're gonna call it prestige Worldwide sounds like a name of a real company. We're brothers. This is why we met. That's why our parents met So this idea could happen. Okay, what do we do? We get to work. What time is it? 4 30. 30. Chris Kardaki. What? He gets in my face and I just don't want to deal with the hassle right now. Can we please go the long way? All right, who's Chris? We're about to find out. Oh God, there they are. A kid? Oh Let's make him lick dog shit. Yeah. Look, Mr. Gardaki, just leave me alone, will ya? Mr. Gardaki. I am not licking any white dog shit. I'll lick the dog shit if you leave us alone. What? Hello, how are you? Oh, oh. No. oh no. So, maybe you don't go down that way anymore. Maybe That's what he tried to tell you, dude. Hey, guys. Looks like your free ride's over, huh? We're putting the house on the market. What? Moving. Are retiring and sailing around the world on my boat. We are living the dream. Holy crap! Hold on. What about us? So I did an interview. I won't take up much of your time. I did an interview with a Noel G, who plays Hector in all the Fast and Furious movies and a hundred other movies. Let me know if you guys want to see that or hear that, because his dad left them 
to sail around the world with one of his best friends that just left him and his mom by themselves. And then his mom couldn't afford to have him, so he became homeless. And then, you know, long story short, he became an actor. We're going to put enough money in your accounts for a security deposit on an apartment. Bon voyage! Have a great time! I'm sitting here thinking, we finally got a family together here. And now it's about to be taken away from me. So, Dale, I don't know how much you know about therapy, but... It usually starts by you telling me a little something about yourself. I thought we'd begin talking about your parents' divorce. Do you want to talk about some of those feelings? I love you. Obviously, you don't know me. Oh, I love you so much. So you got a really dope front lawn here. You and your homeboys can play on that. You know what? You can you can just say it looks You good. and your you homeboys. Your Will you vultures please give us some privacy? He just died last night. I, no, no, I no, can't no, be no. in here. No, 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 no. I no, can't, no. I can't. Okay. Not bad. Eat shit, Derek. So Derek's just rolling with it. He's like, I know my brother. Now there's two of these guys. Yes! Callaway 3 Yeah! Yeah! It's just me. Oh, my God. What are you doing? This is the men's bathroom. There's really little you can do about it. Uh, oh. oh, my God. Oh, just the way I imagined it. I like you. Stay golden, pony boy. Okay. I gotta pee. Oh, my God. You're incredible. Say hello to my little friends. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm a little slow. Is it? So those are all his old football buddies. I'm guessing. Has to be. Excuse me, everyone. If I can have your attention, please. You want to shut this down, D-man? Yeah, we'll just hold on. A sec. Just Derek, hold on for your birthday, we thought we'd roll out once in a lifetime business opportunity. Happy birthday, Derek. Nice logo. <laughs> Prestige worldwide. Does that t-shirt exist out there somewhere? I would totally wear it. Oh, this is classic. This is We'd like to present the world premiere of Prestige Worldwide's first music video. Roll it. Roll it. Oh no. Let's see what this Hey, close attention. What we got going on here? Boats and hoes, bro 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 gang. Is that my boat? It is. Oh, Nina. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, no. Forgot to edit that part out, didn't they? Boats and hoes. What do you guys think of the presentation? Robert's gonna drive them both off cliff. Both All of them off the cliff. Showed a lot of enthusiasm and inventiveness. Yes, thank you. You gotta be kidding me. It's gonna be four years at least before we can sail anywhere. Uh wrecked my fucking boat you goon don't speak to my son like that your son's costing me eighty thousand dollars it's a lot of money are you guys gonna invest or not that's it that's it man. dad i can't believe you're being so stingy robert it's a simple business down. decision you can jagaloons your failures what did he call them i'll catch it on the when i edit don't tell me he's gonna spank him Wow, the tree looks great, Nancy. Is this a Christmas movie? Would it be cool if Brennan and I opened just one present each? I'm gonna go down to the Cheesecake Factory, have a drink. <clears throat> so yeah, Dale, like I said earlier, he seems to be like the more adult version, although he's obviously got a few screws loose, and then yeah. Brennan is just straight Riri. He's like full, full tarred, bring it Riri. Reek of scotch and cheesecake. You know. Where's things to reek from? Tonight at the Cheesecake Factory was the happiest that I have been in months. I don't care how old they are, Robert. <sighs> They're still our children. Sounds like my wife and I getting into it over our kids. Now call me, yeah. See? They're sleepwalking. Never, ever wake up a sleepwalker. Is that a rule? <laughs> what is going on right now? Excuse me, I have to interrupt you, Robert. I think this would be a good time to make our announcement. It's over. What Robert is trying to say is that we are getting a divorce. Don't do this. No. No. Yeah, it's your, totally your fault. It is not your fault. It is It is directly your fault. Sorry, but that's... Oh, my God. Please. Mommy! Oh, that noise is always the worst. Vomit. Uh. 
Guys, good luck, and remember, I need you out of this house by tomorrow. No exceptions. Are you awake? Yeah. Why are they whispering? They're the only people in the house. I know that's probably part of the joke. Hey, you know, we don't have to whisper anymore. Oh. Mom and Dad aren't here. It's all your fault that they broke up. Oh, these brothers about to fight? You take that back. No way. It's your fault. You don't take- Zombie! Ah! Ah! Zombie! <laughs> The dog. I'm like, get off me. My life was perfect before you came here. We're no longer brothers. We never were. We were stepbrothers. Well, 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 look who's here, boys. Can you give me a job? Give Ken Doll Crotch here two weeks, tops. Dr. Angel Face, thank you for meeting me. Don't call me Angel Face. I apologize. What do you do with your hair in the morning? I noticed that there's a mm. long gap in your job history. Was he made yet? I don't remember if he was popular yet. We'll take any position. Booze. All right. Got it. There's a catering business that there's a temp job that's open for you. And you get to play with fire. Oh, no. That's like the worst. The way oh, no. So where are they living? Because then they have to get kicked out of the house. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I'm ready to take on the Catalina wine mixer. And I'm ready to nail it. I want it. Okay, I want the Catalina wine mixer. My brother wants a shot of the Catalina wine mixer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm walking tall. All right, what is the Catalina sure, wine mixer? If you fuck up, yeah. I get to fire your ass. But if you pull it off, I look like a genius to the board. Okay. Ah! Are you I'm not a big how? Rob Riggle fan you either. Ah! It's the biggest helicopter leasing event in the Western Hemisphere. You mess with my nut, Brennan? Randy here is going to eat your dick like Kobayashi. <laughs> <laughs> like old times, huh? It really is. Sure is. <laughs> Still have your night vision goggles? I don't know how to sell those, so I can pay for car insurance. Kicking holes in pumpkins or anything? No. But I did start taking baby ass. Look at them. They're all grown up and shit. I better run. It's good to see you, Brennan. You too, Dale. Take care. Be well. I got to go, too. You're just gonna handshake your mom, dude? Come on. She's like, what the hell? I think Brennan organized this whole thing to get us back together. Goodbye to me tonight. Back to Ooh, fire, buddy. Hey, Billy Joel, do up. Hey, there's that guy. He's in every freaking movie, we too. We skate cook your wife and get the fuck out of here. Damn. Shit. Get, the, get him out of here. Hey, great job, fuckface. Dude, Party look at that ice sculpture. Relax. I didn't realize you said that. I didn't, didn't know. You know what? You cost me money. You're out of 5,000, my friend. What happened to the music? The band left. The guy freaked out. Derek fired me. Ah, it's no big Robert, deal. you don't get it. Okay, here's the thought. I see an empty stage. I see drums. Mm -hmm. I see a drummer. I see a microphone. And I see a singer. Dad, come on. What? We gave it's that bad idea. Yeah, we don't do Listen to me, Dale. Look. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be a dinosaur. I wanted to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex more than anything in the world. I made my arms short, and I roamed the backyard. And Bobby, you're 17. It's, it's time to throw childish things aside. What is Robert talking about? You're human. You could never be a dinosaur. Yeah. I lost it. The point is, don't lose your dinosaur. You know, I hated the way you guys were before. I mean, I hated you. But it just kills me to see you so crushed and normal. Prestige worldwide. That's what you. Yeah, that's what you got to do. My dad's right. I'm going up on that stage, and I'm gonna make beautiful music for a sad world. Dale. Uh oh. I know. The crowd's gonna eat him alive. Wait, what's he doing up there? Somebody get him off the fucking stage! Oh, go get him, Dale! Up there alone, Brennan. He's actually sounds better than the previous band already. Couldn't stand to see him like that. I miss my son. Let me go for a few bars. Coming soft, but then finish strong. Thanks for coming up. You got a dragon. Well. Hey, yeah, we got a little change coming up. It's my main man, Brennan. All right, what's he gonna sing? Solo sueno horizonte falto de pelagros. It's fitting for like a, a wine thingy mixer. Oh, 
this song. His brother's like, what? Boats and ho. Boats and ho. You know, on my um, elf reaction, someone had said that they can actually like legit sing. Which, this is, must be Will Ferrell. <laughs> I traveled 500 miles to give you my seed. Remember, Jack? What is going on right now? Is this real? Yeah, I guess he's not really imagining it, right? Oh. Hey, Dale. Rock the fuck out of those drums, Dale! <laughs> Yo, I think that Catalina wine mixer saved the movie for me. Look, I, I'm not great at this Hallmark stuff, but, uh, Brennan, when I look at you now, I, I don't want to kick you in the head quite as much. What, what do we do now? We could hug. Yeah, you'd like that, faggot. I'm sorry. This is probably their first hug ever. I'm not quite sure what to do. Okay. okay. Hello, Brennan. Denise. Hi. Robert, Mom, Derek. This is my girlfriend, Denise. She's like, wait, what? Hi. We are in absolutely no way dating. We're an enabler. <laughs> you think you're helping, and but you're you not. you are a keeper. It's over. <sighs> Brennan, tell me about the karaoke business. Really great, Dad. Yeah. We got six bars, three restaurants, and two more I want to wow. sign up. Wow. So it's booming. Fantastic. <laughs> no, if you can't sing, just sit down. That's our motto. It's, it's a big <laughs> Wish more people did that. If you can't sing, sit down. I smell cookies. Ready? Yeah, it's my jam. Okay, open your eyes. Merry Christmas. I can't believe you put the boat in the tree! This is the boathouse, the treehouse, tree boathouse. You know this is completely fucked up, right? Yeah. Of course. But Brennan sure can wear the shit out of that. Okay, boat. therapist. <laughs> I'm a Star Wars nut. So you're never gonna see me watch Star Wars on here. Maybe Osaka, whatever. Okay, guys, I just got done watching it. Like I said, I'm not gonna wait until I get done editing edit completing the edit of the movie because i don't think there was a lot of stuff i may have missed looking at the movie it's not quite as bad as i thought it was going to be with that being said it still is not it's never going to be one of my favorite movies uh and that scene where they're playing at the the wine mixer i think i've seen that specific scene before maybe channel surfing uh but i thought john c Riley's character dale was definitely better than um, Will Ferrell's Brennan. I just, I never really caught on to Will Ferrell's Brennan. I don't dislike Will Ferrell. You know, I love Anchorman. I think it's funny as hell. Uh, and even Elf was okay. But hopefully if you guys made it to this point, you've subscribed. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know what else you guys think I should watch. Now, granted, I've seen a lot of movies, uh, but there's also a lot of movies I haven't seen. So until next time.